All right, folks. I am working on a DIY Changia heater here. Just a little sneak peek. Basically, I've got two bottoms of uh, shoe polish holders, shoe polish can, and a bunch of hard wire cloth twisted inside, kind of holds itself together. Got to figure out a better way to hold it all together, but so far it's working. I'm going to turn off the uh, flash here and uh, come back to you and show you what it's doing. Alright, this with the flash off. You can see it's almost working like an element inside. Um, I did have some flame coming out of the top at one time. I blew on it and it went out. And let me tell you, it's got a lot of heat coming from up top here. And also radiating heat on the side. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll see how long it burns. I got about a, had about a half a tank in the Changia. So, uh, keep you posted. Alright, just one more look. She's still going. And, uh, I'm not going to bore you all with a ton of stuff, but, uh, Actually, it looks pretty cool. And like I said, she's uh, burning really hot. So, uh, pretty cool. Alright, y'all have a good one. Alright, so, uh, this is the meat and bones of the operation here. Like I said, it's two uh, bottoms of uh, shoe polish cans. With a bunch of hard wire cloth uh, wound in, in itself. Got a hole in the bottom with a bunch of holes crudely drilled in there. And holes on the top. Right now, you can pick it up and move it. Kind of keeps itself together. But I think I'm going to put a washer down at the bottom there. Find a big, big ass one and um, run a screw all the way through that just to make sure it doesn't come apart. When you're dealing with heat and alcohol, you don't want stuff flying all over the place. So, Anyways, that's the gist of it. You can see the size of it compared to the Changia, so it's not that big. And like I said, it sits right up top. And yeah, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little contraption. All right, y'all. Have a good one. All right, this is the finished product. As you can see, sits on there good. I added a bale. Uh, I'm sure that's going to get really hot, but at least you can pick it up with a multi-tool or something. And what I did was I ran a screw all the way through it with a washer. Now it holds it together. Actually is a lot heavier, so it'll stay put on the on the uh, Trangia. And yeah. There it is. DIY Changia heater. Pretty cool. Well, at least I think. Alright. Enough of this crap. Y'all have a good one. You can see elements glowing. But she's putting off some heat. With that, uh, by putting that washer there, I closed that gap. And uh, now it's a slower burn. Those elements are heating up inside. Bad lighting in here, sorry folks. Anyways, she's hot. So yeah.